I vividly remember the example he gave. The professor began a timeline of resurrection events by walking from the front to the back of the auditorium and then out the door to make his point. Gary Habermas came to the campus of IUPUI in the spring of 2018. Habermas is considered to be the authority on the historical veracity, the space-time truthfulness of the resurrection. Habermas' numerous books, peer-reviewed journal articles, and lectures are the standards by which doubters must measure their questioning of Jesus physically rising from the dead. What was the point Habermas was making by walking out the door? Habermas contends that the resurrection accounts were written not decades later, not years later, not months later, not even days later, but the accounts of Jesus rising from the dead were being written within hours of the event. What is so unique about Habermas' approach to the historical resurrection of Jesus is that he only allows himself the criteria his critics allow to be true. His approach has revolutionized both the apologetic field and all of religious studies. You can find a link to Gary's approach at the end of this Truth and Two. I have great respect for doubt and those who do not believe what I do about Jesus. But you cannot say that you have properly addressed the evidence until you have researched and read the copious work of Gary Habermas on the resurrection. Ultimately, it is the honesty of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 that is so obvious. If Jesus is not risen from the dead, our faith and preaching is in vain, and we are of all people to be most pitied. But scholars such as Gary Habermas have taken the case and have shown beyond all reasonable doubt he is risen. For Truth in Two, this is Dr. Mark Eckel, president of the Comenius Institute, repeating the truth of Scripture with Christians around the world. He is risen. He is risen indeed.